the United States of America has decided to issue a visa ban on any Nigerian citizen that is guilty of rigging an election or injuring the democratic process of a country. The United States of America is making it known that our country can no longer be an escape route to you or whenever you commit an offense in your country. You can no longer run to our country for refuge. Behave yourself in your country and stay in your country in essence. Well, you guys would not believe the, what uh, FFK said to the visa ban. In fact, it was so shocking. A lot of Nigerians has had a lot to say about it. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do all to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get light whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Lastly, please and please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Unbelievable hours after U.S. issue of visa ban to those who rigged election. See what FFK said that, that's causing confusion. Reactions have started following a social media post by the former aviation minister, Femi Fani Kayodi FFK, calling for the Muhammadu Buhari-led federal government to reciprocate the visa ban imposed by the United States of America on some Nigerians suspected of participating in election rigging in the recently concluded general elections. This is in the midst of the ongoing controversy surrounding the visa ban imposed by the United States of America on some Nigerians. Remember that on May 15, 2023, reports that the U.S. government had identified specific Nigerian individuals who had undermined democracy during the general election and had started taking action <clears throat> to bar them from entering America where all, where all over the country's media. The announcement was made by the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony J. Blinken, by FF, but FFK, a spokesperson for the APC Presidential Campaign Council, said in a lengthy article published on its verified Facebook page a few hours earlier, earlier that the Joe Biden administration was guilty of the same offense it was trying to punish Nigerians for. He asserted that only Nigerian election tribunals not an outside nation like the United States had the power to decide whether there was electoral malpractice. Furthermore, the former minister encouraged the Nigerian administration to respond by imposing visa bans on foreign nationals who are shown to have armed democratic processes in their own nations. It's quite intriguing that Nigerians have reacted to FFK's words in a variety of ways, with many taking to the comment area to express their opinion. While some agreed with the APC leader, others chastised him for criticizing the U.S. administration. Below are some screenshots of the reactions from people. Livingstone Daniel says, What is so important about the drama of visa ban? Is foreign countries better than our country, Nigeria? There is no country in the world that is as good and great like Nigeria, in all sincerity, only if our leaders can put first in the decision and policies they make. Of course, Nigeria is a very, you know, gifted country we have natural resources if most of all these other countries the u.s the uk do not even have natural resources they do not depend on their natural resources they depend on task 
by taxing their citizens that is how they get their wealth and their money but on the other hand we in nigeria we do not utilize our wealth very well because our wealth end up in you know in the pocket of some certain individuals and going back to the topic the united states is saying that I'm going to punish Nigerian citizens. Now they are not punishing Nigerian citizens in general. They are not banning Nigerian citizens in general from coming to the United States. They are saying that, hey, if you are one of those that are, that are guilty of rigging the, the election, if you are one of those that have been one way or the other in that the democratic process of Nigeria, we are going to give you a visa ban now ordinarily just looking at that there is nothing wrong with that there is nothing wrong with it because the rigging is not a good thing right we do not want anybody all these politicians the normal average nigerian citizens wants them to behave like they, we do not want them rigging election and thinking that they are not going to get punished for it since the uh well, whatever is it called since INEC is dragging their foot on punishing electoral offenses the u.s is saying look we are not going to let this slide we are going to make sure that if you are guilty of one electoral offense or the other we are going to give you a visa ban you are not going to be allowed to come into our country probably ffk knows that is guilty of you know one or more of those crimes as well probably that is why he's responding in this way because this is not everybody's problem this is not the average nigerian's problem it is your problem ffk and i don't know why he's calling buhari to reciprocate i didn't mean this is a situation of the united states is giving Nigerians in general visa ban okay probably Nigeria will be thinking of reciprocating but since the Nigerian government has been dragging their foot on punishing people who are guilty of electoral offenses the US is helping Nigeria in other words you know to to punish these people for these offenses the least Nigeria could do is just cooperate with them and allow them do their thing not you know reciprocate uh, the 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 gesture as ffk is advising you guys let me have your thoughts in the comment section you guys know i don't know much i'm just keeping it real subscribe if you haven't i will see you in my next video bye for now